I've said sometimes, not to my publisher, that I feel very, very fortunate. Trish and I look at this and we say, here's what we're able to do. We're able to do really PhD thesis after PhD thesis. It's the equivalent of doing a PhD thesis, but you get a publisher to give you some money up front to pay your bills for a couple of years while you're doing it. Then the good news is when you come back with the finished product, they'll publish it. You may sell some copies and make a little bit more money. What a wonderful way to earn a living. The key is you have to finish the book on a schedule. And people who are in the middle of PhD research will be in it for five or six years unable to finish the thesis because they can't bring all their research down into the final thesis. The key is being able to leave aside so many things you found in the process of research that you love but you can't put in the final product. That's what people can't do. They want to put it all in. So they've discovered this much and they, and they can't write it down to this much because they, they're attached to this somehow. I'm sometimes attached to it and I drop a footnote. Sometimes the publisher lets me do that. Uh, sometimes I'm a little attached to it and I put it in as an end note. That's fine. But most of the time I'm able to let go of it. And so I always have to leave things out of the story as it's being told that are really rich anecdotes and side stories on their own. That's the nature of it. So a successful PhD writer, a thesis student, getting that doctorate is able to take that massive information and make a cogent thesis knowing that they haven't shown everything off that they've been able to gather in the last few years. There's some discipline to that.